What is up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're gonna be doing a new game, uh, or a new horror game called The Survey. Um, so we'll s I actually don't know what this game is, it just looked pretty cool, like, horror-wise, uh, when I, when I actually looked at the little demo reel of it. Uh, I have no idea what it's about, but it looked freaking scary. I hate it when something is trapped in a small space with me. And that's pretty much what this game is, so far as I can see, you're like in a small-ass house. So, this should be, you should get pretty crazy, uh, and we'll see what this game is all about. Alright guys, and with that being said, I'd really appreciate it if you can go enable bell notifications before the video starts. If you don't know how to do it, just click on the little bell right next to my subscribe button, a little pop-up box will pop up, and you can enable all notifications from my channel, and then just hit save, and that's, that's really all there is to it. Uh, if you could do that again before the video starts, I'd really appreciate it, it'll allow you to stay up to date on all my latest videos that come from this channel. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy the video. Man, I wouldn't be able to... I mean, the bathroom light's on. <laughs> or whatever's over there. Why is there a random flashlight in the hallway? You know I'd already be tweaking. I'd be like, the fuck is that? I know I didn't leave that bullshit here. Am I naked right now? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm in my, I'm in my PJs, man. Alright, don't be scaring me already, man. Holy shit, this is not. See what I mean? See how small this house is? This is already bullshit, I'm telling you. I gotta look at the damn doorknob to open it, dude. Why do I need a flashlight to walk around my own house? This is stupid. <laughs> this is already dumb. This is a key. There's a key right here. Why can't I look at this? Apparently I can hide in here. I'm just gonna open these. Just so I have a way out. <laughs> right off the bat. Man, this is... God, I can't get over... What is this? Some homeless person's living in my damn house? Kind of bullshit. Oh, is this my dog's place or something? Alright, all the doors are open. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. That's locked for some reason. Let's go downstairs. Hey, honey. You home? What What? I, what was I cooking? Some meat? I just left it out? Shit, that ain't, shit ain't, no. That's not good anymore, dude. And I burnt the other one. My sink's on. Fucking water's being wasted and shit. Turn that bullshit off, man. Wife left the dang sink on. I'm wasting my money. That scared the- I thought that was some gremlin crouching in there, man. I thought my balls were gone. Turn on the light, bitch. Haven't written this journal in a while, but I thought I'd write something down. Right now, Lil is six years old, while Marcus is, I think, four. The other day- The hell, I don't know my own damn kids. The other day, she was painting a picture, and it looked pretty- oh, Alright, hold on, I gotta, I gotta just answer this damn phone. It's gonna get annoyed. I shit you not, I thought it meant exit- as in, it's gonna exit the the note. I exited the whole damn game, dude. Pick it up! Fuck! <laughs> Locked. Now tell me I don't know my own damn password. What if that was it? Could you imagine? After making dinner, I came back to find a replace- replicate- a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable. I haven't told Joseph yet, but I think Lilith could end up being a very special girl. I asked her where she learned to paint that way, but she responded in a confused manner, as if as if all she was doing was casually playing around with paint. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. I'll definitely have to keep an eye on her talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents. Financially, we're doing well. No real troubles. No family issues either, besides his drinking problem. I'll finish this entry up after I cook dinner. Okay, Mary. Well, did you have anything about my cell phone password? Because I seem to have forgotten it. My dumb ass, dude. I hear shit creaking, dude. If I heard this in my house, if, this, if I was alone, and this was my house, I would be shitting. You know why? Because shit does, What the fuck? That's moving on its own. I gotta put my foot down and tell these homeless people to clean the hell up. Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Look for the channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. She's watching you. What the fuck? Don't leave the station on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Right now, she's upstairs waiting for me. Oh, fuck off. Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Balls and ass, dude. Alright. Channel 97. Like, it's a nice house, but it's so baby. I'm gonna get stuck somewhere. Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Fuck all this, dude. There's 97 on the on the bottom one. Eight. Let's 
So eight. Oh my god. 29. 829.97. Right? 829.97. Oh my god. Alright. Blurry JPEG. Great. That's delicious. Careful in the closet, apparently. And help. Help me. Shit. Welcome to the survey. You have been chosen to represent a certain demographic that is currently being studied. Please be honest while answering all questions. Your cooperation and honesty is appreciated. Press continue. Okay. Are you currently situated in your home? Yes. Are you currently employed? Yes. Do you use your mobile device often? Yes. Did you forget your password for your mobile device? Apparently. Was finding the password for your phone easy or hard? Easy. I guess. Is anyone with you in your current house currently? Uh, not that I fucking know of. Is anyone supposed to be with you? Currently? Uh... Yes? Are you a college student? No. God, what is this bullshit? Do you enjoy being home alone? Not really, to be honest. Does it ever feel creepy when you are home alone? Absolutely. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling as if you are being watched, but in reality you are not? Hell yeah! <laughs> Individuals report this phenomenon quite frequently. Especially when around certain paintings, dolls, or statues. Are any of those objects inside your house? Yeah, there's some fucking angel thing downstairs. How many televisions are currently in your in your house? Two plus, apparently. Thank you for your participation. Please take a short break. We will continue the sh survey shortly. Oh my god, I'm gonna tweak. So what do I do? Now that I've unlocked my phone, do I go to, do I go to the closet? What the fuck was that? You have no idea how much I'm literally tweaking right now. Let me get in my damn clock. Can I run? Do I have fucking legs? Something downstairs broke. The window? Window's good. I'm going wide around everything, man. The TV's on! Oh, you bitch! You're wasting my electricity and shit? <gasps> no, 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 no. Let's turn that bullshit off, okay? What's this now? i to read this document. Oh my god. Can someone help my heart? Local prodigy. Lilith Walker began painting when she was six years old, though only being 12. This child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. The child belongs to the local Walker household. Her father, Joseph Walker, a construction worker, along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at a law firm. According to Mary and Joseph, Lilith Pillow loved to paint and express her talent early. She also stated that she practices anywhere from five to ten hours a day just to perfect her craft. Her artwork is gaining popularity as demand for her pieces and replications have skyrocketed recently. Although she enjoys painting, she also plays a variety of instruments, which uh, such as violin, piano, and cello. On top of painting, she also enjoys what? Beating off? Hope not. Is that light? The light was not on in that... You gotta... Is this my daughter, man? She's really pissing me off. She's wasting my shit. I mean, thanks for the light, you know? I'm not going to complain about that. But, you know, aside from that, can you not? Like, I can't turn it off, but you know what? It's, is that candle lit now? Hmm. I, I got to make sure... This is on now, too? Am I going to get the absolute cheek scared out of me? This is on, too. Stop. Turn it off. I can't turn it off? Oh, here we go. For the next portion of the survey, we will need you to... Fulfill a request. We will need you to check if your bathroom appliances are working. Specifically the sink and the light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working properly. Okay. Can I turn this off? Because this is kind of... You know, it's gonna, Your ears are going to bleed, right? That's not good. Oh, God. Here we go. Master bathroom, right? My shit working? Please enter your bathroom in your master bedroom and, and check... It. Well, this isn't the master bedroom. Alright, well, fuck me. I'm doing some dumb shit, man. Is this my bastard bit? Oh, okay. Don't be behind the shower curtain. You know how much I will poop. What the hell is that? Is that a fucking arm? I'm pausing. I'm pausing. Lilith note. I asked mom to give me a dairy. Is this dumb to be standing here? Yo, your hand is all fucked. You need help. Alright, hold on. 
I asked mom to give me a diary after my first painting sold. Uh, I just thought it would be nice to write down some of- oh, a diary, a fucking diary. Some of my thoughts. Mom and dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I should. It seems like all that, that's all they want me to do is make money from it. This reporter came in the other day, his name is Rick Driver, and he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently we're going to be an article in the local news. Mom said it would help me with my publicity. I hardly even like painting, but whatever makes them happy, I guess. I actually liked playing the violin and piano way more than painting. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I enjoy that much. Shut up. I hope that they include Marcus in the article. I know how much he loves writing. It seems like mom and dad barely even pay attention to him. Is this my fault? Maybe he hates me. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll, I'll trip. Fall down the stairs and break my arm so I can't paint anymore. At least for a while. That's fucking dark. Okay, looks like you did, because your arm's all fucked. This is gross. Do I have to walk up to this bullshit? Lilith. Okay, wow. I'm not check- I'm checking it. Oh, fuck me in the ass. Okay, where'd you go? In the damn laundry basket? You're bull- you're bullshit. You're- you're absolute fucking bullshit. Alright. What do I gotta do next? Let's pull off the stand phone. Continue. Are they working properly? Yes. Did you notice anything strange? Yeah, some broken, shriveled-ass arm sticking out of my laundry room. She heard you. Hide. Fuck off. Thank you for your input. The next set of questions involves your personal preferences concerning music. Do you enjoy- wait, should I fucking hide first? Hold on. Let me hide first. Let me get in my bitch ass room here. Okay, close this. Can I go in- can I go in here? Can I- can I close this? Alright, let's- now let's go on my phone. Do you enjoy listening to rock? Yes. Do you enjoy- I can't read. Do you enjoy listening to rap? No. Do you enjoy listening to classical music? Uh, why is it highlighted on no? I, I, I really don't. Uh, do you remember your sister's taste in music? Uh, no. <laughs> on top of being a talented painter, she also she was also a, a, a talented violin player. Do you remember her playing any songs on her violin? Yes. Were you ever jealous of how gifted she was? How everyone always paid attention to her? No. We have a song that you might enjoy listening to. Turn on the radio downstairs and listen to the song. Well, fuck off, because it's going to be gross, isn't it? You know, if it wasn't for the fact that my gonads are literally, like, up in my stomach, I probably would just get off the game. But I'm trying to resolve that issue and have them go come back down. I don't even know where the radio was. Look, people are leaving food out, man. Everyone's wasting... My flashlight just died. Fuck off. What's this? This is bullshit, man. So my sister gave me a journal even though my mom said no. She said that after her first painting sold, mom would get her a few. She gave me one of them, so I'm kind of happy about that. Nobody really knows that I'm really into writing besides my sister. This reporter met my family the other day. After cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, wiping the floors clean, and sweeping up all the broken beer glasses from dad, I assume. And lastly, after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him pull into the driveway, pen and notepad in hand. As I saw him get out of, the car, out of his car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door, just before closing shut, struck my nose. What? And I started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood. It tasted very metallic. I'm tasting it. I didn't. My first thought wasn't to wipe it off. As if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there, then drank it. I never got to meet that reporter, even though I really wanted to. Marcus. Well, that sucks. I didn't see a rate. Is this it? I didn't see a radio. It says, turn on the radio downstairs and listen to the song. I, I, wait, I, I didn't, I didn't listen to it. Hold on, hold on. Where's the radio? You have no idea how hard my heart just dropped. Holy shit. The shivers. I get, yeah. Do you remember what happened to, to her? No. Do you remember what happened to your family? No. The screaming. Can you hear it? Yes, I did actually. Have you seen her? I saw her shriveled ass arm. Are you lying? Oh, it's the light. Okay. Holy shit, the goosebumps. No, I've seen her bitch ass. 
She's watching you. Do you feel her eyes on you? I kind of did a second ago. Yes. Turn around. Fuck me, dude. Turn around. Fuck off. Seven, go. What does that mean? <gasps> Holy balls. What is this? No! No. I will back up into this corner and read this note. Oh my god. Kind of sad, I mean, I'm only 15, but mom and dad are driving this whole painting thing a little crazy. They keep asking to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not that great at it. But it's really fun. Both of my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quit both of their jobs just to pursue it, just uh, because it apparently makes them a lot of money. They never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now, other than to keep painting. Maybe I'll make an excuse, or maybe I'll try telling, saying no. I wish... They would pay more attention to Marcus, too. He put so much effort into everything, and he does really well in school. It was Christmas the other week, and we had some family over. Marcus just looked so gloomy, so alone. Nobody even got him a Christmas present. Aw, oh, Marcus. Besides me, anyways. It's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. I mean, he always had some drinks, but he's doing it more and more. He gets scary sometimes. Okay, Lilith. I'm assuming I'm Marcus, okay? Let's... Let's be reasonable. Okay, dad did something to you. I get it. You know, he fucked up. But let's work let's work through this together, okay? Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Let's work through this, okay? What do I got to do? What happened? Dude, the game crashed on me, dude. Let's read this right here in the dark. Dumb. All right, let's just Lilith note. He gets scary sometimes. All right. So Lilith, what would you like me to do now? I gotta bring up my phone now. Okay, let's not crash the game, please. The game. <laughs> oh my goodness. The angel's gone now. Oh, great. Oh, great. Is this where they kept her ass? Alright, here we go. There's another thing here, another key. We have a key to the basement. I think. Alright, Lilith, we're on the same side here, okay? Let's not be rash. Let's not be do stupid. Oh god, why am I doing this bullshit? Holy fuck, they kept her in the broom closet. Okay. Alright, let's just read this, okay? Don't don't scare me, I'm reading your stuff. Lilith, no, it's your note. Okay? I hate painting. Mom and Dad want me to finish one piece a week. Damn! It takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet that quota. On top of going to school. What? If you... I tried to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Today I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling uh, him that I didn't have the right color of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. So he calls Marcus down. He grunted. So you don't have the right color of red. You could smell the alcohol from his breath. He took Marcus and, st and, and he started hitting, hitting him until blood started to drip from his nose, and eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat him and kick him until he was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze and poured it all over Marcus and walked off, muttering something. Mom just turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit, and I helped him up to his room. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he fell asleep, reading his book about cars. Jesus. Well, that sucks. Yo! Fuck. No! You can't! It's gonna make her ears bleed! Oh, for the love of God. Turn that bullshit off. Now I hear the music. I have to go around. It's making me go around. Look, everybody, I'm just a nice guy. Okay? Just a nice guy, looking for... Oh my God, that scared me again. How did that scare me again? I gotta check my bedroom. Fuck these flickering lights and all this bullshit. <gasps> Lilith? What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna go up to her. Oh, Lilith. Don't cry. It's okay. I'm here. What the fuck? Why, why am I sympathetic to this bitch? Alright. 
Two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted inside a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night as neighbors were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and a sister in their late teens. The two were home alone in their, while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school and also worked a part-time job at a grocery store. How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused the tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause of it, what the fuck, but are unsuspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. Alright. So that's why she looks all shriveled. Holy shit! It clo- Lilith! Is she moving towards me? Oh. My. Fucking god. Lilith! Do not be sitting next to my bitch ass. Eight, nine, please, please. Shut up. Eight, What's up with this nine, fish up? Whoa. Six, what is up with this fish eye bullshit? Eight, no. Nine, two, it's all zoomed six. in. For the sheer fact that I'm shitting bricks, okay? I'm gonna end it here because I think I need to restart the game. I don't think it's supposed to be all fisheye like this. I'm zoomed in like five times more than I should be. It's crazy. So we're gonna end it right there. Let me know if you want to see more of this game in the comments down below. Um, it really got my heart pumping, man. The adrenaline rush is real. You guys know uh, I like being scared. Maybe not in the moment, but the, the adrenaline rush is pretty crazy. So uh, let me know if you want to see more of this game in the comments down below. Lilith literally like ripped my wing piece off or something. I'm not sure, but. The story's pretty interesting. It's like, uh, I'm not sure that, I'm pretty sure this game's gonna, not gonna last too long. So, if you wanna see it, uh, we'll play some more of it. And hopefully, next time I log in, it's not fisheye and all, all weird and zoomed in. Uh, but either way, hopefully, you enjoyed. Definitely make sure you rate the video what you think it deserved. If you did enjoy, please consider sharing the video as well. That kind of stuff really helps me out a lot, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or any social media, really, or even word of mouth with your friends. That's really awesome, too. Of course, it directly helps me as well as the entire community and is greatly appreciated. So, with that being said, if you want to become a sage in training, make sure you subscribe today. And as always, this has been Mr. Bazy, your favorite sage, and I'll see you in the next video.